Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design concrete beams in STAD Advanced Concrete Design from a model that was created in STAD Pro. At this point in our workflow, we've already performed our design and we're taking a closer look at the results. In specific, specifically for this particular video, we're going to take a look at the design grouping. Now, STAD Advanced Concrete Design will automatically detect continuous beams or concrete beams that are interconnected and collinear, and it's going to give each of those beams a group number. You can highlight the different groups in your design grouping tab in your design input area. In addition to that, you are able to also specify continuous beams that can be grouped in plan, provided that the number of beams the beam properties, the support conditions, and the length of the beams are identical. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at that. Here I can see that group one, group three, and beam group five are basically identical. They have the same number of beams, same beam properties, support conditions, and beam lengths. Now if I were to take a look at the design output for those three groups, we can see that the reinforcement for each beam may be different depending upon its particular loading conditions. Now for simplicity for this particular video, I want to say that any groups of continuous beams that are the same should be grouped together so that they can be designed and detailed together, which might make it easier for my beam schedule later on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and modify the grouping of the members. To do that, I can go to the modify menu bar item and I can go with the group ungroup option. Now for this particular model, I'm gonna go ahead and group two sets of beams in plan. I'm gonna start with my four span continuous beams that we just discussed. I'm going to select those group numbers, group 1, group 3, and then group 5. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create button. And here you can see that they've now been grouped together, which means that when the program goes ahead and performs the detailing of the reinforcement, they will be detailed to be the same. In addition to that, I have a couple of three span beams that I'd also like to group in plan. Those are group eight, nine, and 10. Once we've selected our second group, we will again click on the create button and then finish this off by clicking okay. STAD Advanced Concrete Design will re-perform the design considering the groups that we just grouped together and will determine what the reinforcement is for each of those groups. So you can see that group one was one of the groups that was affected and also group eight. Now whenever I review any of my drawings or want to modify the reinforcement, these groups of beams can be designed and detailed together. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.